right so in this class we will learn about nifty so what exactly is nifty and why it is important to understand nifty uh, to do a passive investment passive investment means the topic of our class that is it possible to invest into stock market without taking anyone's help or doing deep down research so to understand nifty let's quickly go to the nse website and uh, i as i have shown it in the other classes as well so in nse website if you go open nseindia.com and you see live market and you go to equity stock it shows you the a default list of stocks well this number of stocks is 50 here and it is called nifty 50 nifty is called a index for for up to this class you just understand this fact that there is something called index and one of the index name is nifty 50 well there are different kind of indexes as well which i'll show you here itself so you can see broad market indices are there then you have sectorial indices and then thematic indices at this point of time we are going to learn only about one index which is the nifty 50 well in nifty 50 they this also represent like what so every time when you hear sensex went 200 or 300 points up or nifty came down by 24 and 80 points they are talking about basically this base indices only now how this indices uh, got created and uh, why they created it so see for that you have to understand the concept of indexes so an index is an indicator or measure of something and especially in finance it's the statistical measure in the change in the overall security market so what they did that they selected top 50 companies from top 15 sectors of the economy well when i'm saying top 50 companies that may not hold completely true always there are more criteria also but generally the companies which they will select is like good companies widely held companies companies with a lot of customers a good track record and a good market capitalization as well right so that's why you will see the companies are very you know you must be knowing even these companies adani port asian pain Sexis bank bajaj auto bajaj fencer bharti airtel bpcl britannia sipla coal india so you can see this list is very long maruti reliance tata motor so these kind of companies are they are into nifty 50 well so in a way when you are consider that you know you are investing into all these companies together so in a way you are investing into overall economy overall stock market because they are somehow going to represent the overall market as well right so so let's get a little deep into it so the companies that are part of the nifty 50 you you saw that nifty meaning is it's a base index of nsc nsc is the largest exchange of india then uh, they get calculated as per their weightage you know investable uh, weightage factor so are each of them given the same weightage into nifty 50 well no so ideally if you see 50 companies are there which means you can say that two percent is the weightage for all of them well this is not correct so there are companies which are having even six seven percent of the weightage and then there are companies which are having even 0.5 percent of the weightage so overall performance of the nifty gets calculated as per the change in every stock also multiplied with its weightage what has been given so then they cumulatively calculate the overall change in nifty 50 and then uh, i'll also include one file where you will uh, you can download and see how exactly it's get calculated so on the calculation you will see that there is a change happening on a daily basis so even this index which you see 12,018 was sometime back uh, even 10,000 when i started my career in 2005 it was 4,000 so from there onwards it has came threefold now my point is instead of going and identifying each stock you what if you have been given nifty as a share itself that go and buy one nifty at 12,018 and if it goes to 24,036 your money will get double well this is a passive way of investing into stock market and it is possible that you can directly invest into nifty and it is done through two different methods one method is 
ETF, which we are going to learn in the very next uh, chapter of the same class. So let's move on to the ETF in the next chapter, next class.